Contingency plans are in place if Congress can't come to a quick agreement on increasing the debt ceiling, since Secretary Yellen suggested that Treasury might exhaust the so-called extraordinary measures sooner than some analysts have estimated. Well, let me just first say that we fully expect Congress to act in a timely manner to raise or suspend the debt ceiling, as they did three times on a broad bipartisan basis during the last administration. And as you know from covering it, raising or suspending the debt ceiling does not authorize new spending. It merely allows Treasury to meet obligations that Congresses have already approved. So that's what our focus is on, and we certainly expect them to follow suit of the last several administrations, or last several uh, times they raised it. Go ahead Thank in the back. You, Jen. Thanks Just for your patience. No problem. Just a few quick ones. And sure. I'll be quick. Does immigration continue to be a priority in these meetings that are so important and they could do a lot for the progress of an immigration bill? Well, again, I can't, it's hard for me. They may have read some of it out to read out a meeting that was still going on when I came out here, but uh, the president remains committed to continue, that immigration continues to be a top priority for the president. That's why he proposed a bill on day one. That's why he uh, communicated in his uh, joint session speech that we should look for ways to find common ground, find agreement on what pieces we can move forward. And he certainly believes, even as we've made progress at the border, that in order to address this over the long term, we need to put in place long-term solutions. So he will continue to absolutely advocate for it. But I, I don't know if it was a topic in the meeting yet. The rancher who found, the couple who found the five uh, young girls that were rescued a few days ago said to the president in an interview that he did, we want you to come to the border, this is not humane anymore. What do you have to say about that? I will say first that that was a heartbreaking situation and we're thankful for the work of CBP to ensure those minors' safety. Uh, this is a, another example of why we continue to be very clear that individuals should not make the treacherous journey north and put their lives in the hands of smugglers or others for unsafe circumstances. And again, just to reiterate, our focus remains on solutions, on ensuring we're expediting processing, we're getting kids into safe and humane conditions, uh, and that's, uh, if going to the border changed that or helped that, that would be one thing. But our focus is on implementing uh, pieces that we can, to, so we can make their lives better. And consumer prices picking back up on what yeah. was asked earlier.